Good morning, my name is Desiree. I am your nurse today. Well doing head hygiene. How are you feeling today? Hi nurse, I find it difficult to breathe. Let me sit you properly first. I will put pillow in your back. How are you feeling now? Still having difficulty of breathing. Can you say your name first and date of birth, please? My name is Chris and date of birth is January 1st, 2001. I'm just going to quickly take a set of vital signs for you. Okay, nurse. Okay, Chris. I can see that your oxygen saturation is low so I'm just going to check the charge for any prescription of oxygen. Is that okay? Okay, nurse. Chris, it says here that you are prescribed with 4 liters of oxygen viaduct face mask. Double check is it okay if I administer this to you this will help to ease your breathing. Sure, nurse. I will attach this tube to the oxygen port and check if there is flow of air in the tube and attach the mask to you, Chris. Okay, nurse. How do you feel now, Chris? A bit better, nurse. It also says here that you are prescribed with saline nebulizer. So what this does is it helps to thin the secretions slash mucus in your lungs and helps to cough it out making it easier for you to breathe. Common side effects are chest tightness, headache, swelling of the hands or feet. May I administer the medication? Sure, nurse. So you are prescribed with 5 ml normal saline so I will only put 5 ml of the medication in the chamber. This will usually take 10 to 15 minutes, but we will know if the medication is done if all the medication in the chamber has evaporated. Thank you, nurse. So I will remove the face mask and replace it with a nebulizing tube and I will check if the air is flowing properly through the tube and attach it to your face. Is that okay? That's fine, nurse. Chris, you are also prescribed with salbutamol inhaler. Do you know what that is and how to use it? No, nurse. So an inhaler is the small device that holds the medication salbutamol. What this does is it relaxes the smooth muscles of our airways make it easier for air to flow in and out of our lungs, in turn making it easier for us to breathe. Common side effect of this drug is headache, tremors, and increased heart rate. Thanks nurse. To use this, you will put your thumb on the bottom part of the inhaler and your index finger at the top of the canister. If the inhaler is being used for the first time or if it has not been used for 5 days, prime the inhaler with pressing down the canister away from your face for 1 to 2 times. Okay nurse. To administer the medication, sit upright and exhale fully. Next is pleased mouthpiece in your mouth, and sells it tightly with your lips, and as you wish in, administer a dose of the medication, be pressing down on the canister. As you finish breathing in removed inhaler from your mouth and hold your breath for 5 to 10 seconds, or as long as comfortable, then breathe out slowly. If a second dose of the inhaler is needed, wait for 30 to 60 seconds to administer the next dose using the same technique. Make sure after every dose to rinse your mouth with water to relieve dryness of the mouth. Thank you very much, nurse. You are also prescribed with beclomethasone inhaler. What is that for, nurse? A beclomethasone inhaler is also an inhaler, usually brown in color. This medication is a corticosteroids given to relieve symptoms of asthma. This medication has a long-term effect, so as you take the medication over time, this will help to reduce the swelling that is in your airways and helps make it easier for air to pass through the airways. Common side effects of this is dryness of the mouth, nausea, vomiting, lightheadedness. Thank you, nurse. You are also prescribed with incentive spirometry. Have you tried this before? No, nurse. So an incentive spirometry is a device that helps to expand our lungs and helps it to exercise. This will help keep the alveoli open and prevents chest infections. To use this, first, you must sit up properly, then breathe out fully. Next is put the mouthpiece in your mouth and breathe in through the tube. Try your best to lift all three balls in the spirometry. Next is hold your breath for about 5 to 10 seconds, or as long as comfortable, then remove the tube then breathe out slowly. You will need to do this about 10 times per session, 4 sessions per day, before meals, and before bedtime, and if you're feeling lightheaded, stop the exercise and rest, and do it again. Thanks nurse. Have you had flu vaccine? No nurse. So flu vaccine is recommended for people, with long-term health conditions, it helps to protect us, from the influenza virus, usually given around September, every year. It is given IM and works in around two weeks. There are other types of vaccines recommended. The PCV-13, pneumococcal conjugate vaccine, that is part of routine immunizations, given for all children born after October 1, 2010. 
PPV23, pneumococcal polysaccharide vaccine, which is given after PCV13, with two weeks interval, indicated for people 65 years old and older, and four children two years old and older. Thank you so much nurse.